Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. <laughs> he was ready. He was ready. What's up guys, it's Austin back with another episode of Angle and Ace. Today me and Aaron, we have uh, got our tenderloins back from my uh, from the little five pointer I killed this year. But uh, today we're gonna cook up some tenderloin and then we're also gonna cook up some squirrel. We actually got a pretty cool recipe that we're gonna show you guys. So uh, stay tuned and we'll uh, show you guys what we got. All right, so here we got God's greatest gift to our earth and that is the deer tenderloin. So Aaron, you're gonna show us uh, what you're doing here with the old tenderloin? It's pretty big on awesome. salt, pepper, garlic powder, cook it in butter, and you're good to go. Oh, yeah. Get it to about a medium rare because when it starts getting brown on the inside, it starts getting real tough. So yeah, nobody likes eating shoe leather. Nope. So, yeah, pretty much all he's doing is salt, pepper, garlic, and um, throw, it in. throw it in the uh, old pan here with the butter. There we go, so we're gonna let these cook and then we'll get right back to you guys. Exactly what you guys want to see right there, I promise. About like a medium rare to medium. Yep. Oh, that's all it takes. It's exactly what you want. Alright, and so you show us what we do here right. with the squirrel meat. Well, we just chopped it off of them. Usually I know you'll bread it and then fry it that way, but it always seems to be just too tough that way. So we just cut it off the squirrel, then I put in some uh some yellow mustard, some hot sauce, soy sauce, and uh, some garlic in here. Just kind of as a, marinade. as a marinade. When I put it in the pan here, I'm going to put some uh, some Tony Satchers in it. Yep, some Tony Satchers. We're going to make some uh, squirrel meat street tacos. New recipe that me and Aaron are trying out. I think it's going to turn out pretty good. There's only one so, way to find out. Yep, that's true. So we'll try it and see what we can do here. A lot of people don't like that hint of game that deer meat kind of has naturally, but I personally think it tastes pretty good. So now we're going to try it with the uh, Chick-fil-A sauce here. So what do you think? That's you can't beat it. Long, so you can't go wrong with Chick-fil-A sauce. We're not sponsored by Chick-fil-A, but you can never go wrong with the sauce. That was the truth. All right, we got that other tin one cooking up here, and we're gonna finish off this uh, squirrel meat here and try and see if we can make something magical happen with these street tacos. After we've had the squirrel meat cook pretty for a pretty good amount of time, and Aaron uh, has taste tested the um, squirrel meat so far, and he approves. But it's still a little tough. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it out of here, and we're actually gonna sear the meat a little bit just to kind of take some of that toughness out. And um, hopefully that'll do the do the trick for us there. All right, so Aaron is uh, putting it in the uh, in the pan to get it seared a little bit. Again, definitely, Aaron, it's definitely a lot more tender than if you're just trying to eat it right off the bone. It's not like oil right now. Right. It's a little better, but this is kind of improves the flavor a little bit more. Oh yeah. And I don't know if you guys have ever tried squirrel meat um, just right off the bone, but it, it is it is really really tough to eat. Uh, it tastes good. But it's just not, it's just hard to handle, I would say. 
So this way, you know, we got all the meat off and we're cooking it the right way and we're getting it a, a lot more tender. And it's gonna taste better too, so. And all right, now Aaron is, uh, his last final scoops here. Mm -hmm. All right, he's seared it with a little bit of butter. And get some more, a little bit more salt, pepper, garlic, and that. And some more salt, pepper, and garlic. But every day I go meat in the world, you can see there's a salt, pepper, garlic powder in it. Oh yeah, you can't go wrong. <laughs> Almost looks like beef. A little bit, it kind of looks like braised beef that you get at a Chinese restaurant. It's probably not gonna taste the same though. Mm -mm. <laughs> All right, so now we've got some of this squirrel meat on the tortilla here. Aaron's throwing some mango salsa mm -hmm. on it. He's gonna wrap it up and tell us what it tastes like. That was freaking good. Really? Mm hmm. Hmm. All right. I'm about to give me a taste test here. So after that, that squirrel meat's been pan seared with butter and then with a little bit more Tony's and a little bit more garlic sprinkled on top. Take it out, warm you up a tortilla, put you some of that mango salsa on it, sour cream, whatever you want on it, diced onions. Wrap it up. I'm telling you, it is the greatest thing that I've ever tried in terms of eating squirrel meat. Because squirrel meat kind of kind of be a tough concept when you're, you know, trying to eat it. So quite literally a tough concept. So Aaron, what are your final thoughts here? Um, that was freaking good. <laughs> All right, so out of the um, out of the deer meat. So the tenderloins with, with the way we normally make it, how would you rate it out of a 10? I'd give it a 10. You give it a 10? I think I would too. Now with the squirrel meat, what would you rate it out of 10? I'd give it probably a 9. 9 out of 10? That's, that's, that's pretty... Mm -hmm. that's I, like, a, I, mean, I wish it could be more tender. But yeah. I can't really help it. Um, but what would you compare the meat to? <sighs> hmm. I can't really honestly think of anything to really compare it to. It's its own thing. It really is its own thing. It, To me, it almost kind of tastes like lingua. In a, a way. A little bit. The flavor of it is pretty kind of similar. Yeah. So, well, all right. You know, Aaron over here is a master chef for the Anglinese. You know it. So, uh, <laughs> but with that, we're going to finish this off, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode of Anglinese.